Welcome to a short tutorial that explains how to set up a Twitter account. To sign up for your Twitter account, go to www.twitter.com. You will see a new to Twitter sign up box. Fill out your full name, email, and password. If you feel uncomfortable providing your full name, put in initials or a pseudonym. Your full name will be listed next to your Twitter handle or your Twitter username. But again, if you do not want to use your real name and put it out in digital space, please feel free not to. But also note that if you do use your full name, others will be able to find you easier. It is also important to read Twitter's terms and policies for use before creating your account. It isn't a required part of the sign-up process, but it is important because this information explains how Twitter will use your personal information on the internet. When you have completed the short form, click Sign Up for Twitter. Next, you will have to choose a password. To ensure your online safety, avoid simple and easy to guess passwords. Make sure your password does not include personal information like your birthday or driver's license number. Your password should be much more complex. It should contain at least eight letters, numbers, and special characters like question marks, parentheses, or the dollar sign. The greater the variety of characters in your password, the better. The next page confirms your information. On this page, you can make any changes before your Twitter account is confirmed. A green confirmation next to each box will light up when you have completed the form correctly and you can move on. Based on your full name you provided, Twitter suggests a username. This username is your Twitter, Twitter handle and will be seen by your Twitter followers when you tweet. People can also search for you by your Twitter handle or username. If you do not want to stay signed into the computer or receive emails from Twitter, uncheck these boxes. Next, click Create My Account. The next step is that Twitter begins to build your timeline. Your timeline has all the tweets that your followers tweet and that you will tweet eventually. Be sure to follow a variety of people and organizations to collect a variety of news and information. Next click Next to continue. Twitter begins your timeline by offering a variety of people and organizations to follow. To begin, you will need to select at least five handles to follow, but don't worry, these can always be changed later. As you select your followers, they will begin to appear in this timeline. The next step gives you the choice to follow people in certain subjects. Twitter breaks up its users into categories such as music, sports, entertainment, and more, making it easier for you to connect and find others. Since Digital Charlotte is interested in digital and media literacy, we will select the technology category. Within this technology category, Twitter provides people and organizations that should be tweeting on technology in some way. These Twitter handles could be discussing the latest trends, what's going on in their organizations, or what people are saying about technology. Select at least five to add to your timeline. And again, you can always change these later. Next, you can search your email contacts to see if your friends or family are on Twitter too. Twitter will send them an email inviting them to Twitter, so then you can follow them. In our example, we will skip this step by clicking on skip at the bottom of the left hand side of the screen. It is hard to see the light gray skip button, but if you do not feel comfortable connecting to your email account, you should skip this step and come back later when you're more familiar to the Twitter world. For the final step, you can upload a picture of yourself for your Twitter bio. All you would need to do is click on Upload Image and a pop-up box will appear to your browse your computer, your phone, or your tablet for a picture to use. Click on the picture you, like to, you would like to have as your Twitter bio and click Submit. It may take some time for your picture to upload to your Twitter account. Then you can write a 140 character bio about yourself in the bio section. 
Since Twitter only uses 140 characters, you have to keep it short and to the point. For our example, we are going to skip this as well, but it is helpful to have a picture or an image that describes you or your, or your organization. It allows you to stand out among the timelines. When you have finished setting up your Twitter account, Twitter will direct you to your Twitter timeline. It is here that you can see who you are following and what they are saying, and you can compose tweets. Or if you want to follow more people, you can click in the box on the upper right hand corner and either pursue the options that Twitter recommends or browse additional categories like we did at the beginning of this presentation. One final thing in setting up your Twitter account is that you will have to log into your email address and confirm your new Twitter existence.